Hey everyone, <laughs> welcome back. Um, I, I just wanted to real quickly say this. Um, today has been a really interesting day for my YouTube <laughs> kind of thing. Um, I uh, I went from sixty three subscribers today to last time I checked it was seventy two. But let me real fast. Uh, sixty three subscribers to uh, just seventy two. 73, I, I just refreshed and now it's at 73, so, <laughs> uh, thank you, um, for giving me a chance and, you know, deciding to check out my content, I, I really appreciate all of you who have subscribed, so thank you. Now, this episode is the redecoration episode, we're gonna be redecorating this house, finally, so, now, what kind of sucks is that I actually recorded this episode already, but, um, turns out the audio did not record at all. So now, instead of actually going through and doing, you know, and just having it done, Audacity decided to, rather than it recording from my microphone, like it usually does, and ever, always does, to switch to my Windows microphone, which has been manually disabled so Cortana can't talk to me. So, thank you, Audacity. But anyways, on the bright side, this means I have a decent idea of what to do for decorations. So, I have a pretty good way to properly set everything up, and I have... I need to sleep in my bed, but whatever. So, on the downside, um, rather than going through and enjoying me struggling to figure out decorations, uh, you get to see me basically throw all the decorations together really quickly without any problems and no delays. And this means I'll actually be able to do both houses instead of just one, because I know exactly what needs to be done. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, we need two of those cauldrons. And we're going to... Bad. Oh, there's two of them. So... Kind of a win-lose situation. Like, oh boy. Hey, big boy, how you doing? Did I get any chain mail from that? No, of course I didn't. You know, this episode's supposed to be decorating the house, not fighting off the zombie apocalypse. Oh, there's two Endermen. Oh boy. Oh boy, what's going on? Okay. Oh my gosh. Only getting worse. Okay, I need to take a few steps back here and reassess everything because I'm being swarmed on, on all angles. Spata! Spata! Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. <sighs> Three stairs, one jump. Let's go. This is not how I wanted things to go. Be gone, mobs. All right, just what I wanted. <sighs> You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> I 
let's see, that was just regular stone, right? And one uh, smooth stone stair. That's pretty fixable, I guess. Oh no, wait, that one's different because it's uh, a torch space. That's right, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Did you die? Good. No, you're still down there. Are you going to make the ascent or are you going to stay down there? If you're going to stay down there, then I'm going to take pot shots at you. Goodbye. Gosh darn creepers. Okay, so... That just happened. Um, I just spent like two minutes, two, three minutes just fighting off the horde of zombies rather than working on my house. So, and that's entirely on me because I am a complete idiot. So, on the upside though, I know exactly what to do. So, it's not going to take me too long. Let's see, we need all the coal from these areas here. And we're going to grab the clay from this chest as well. So, I'm going to pop that down there, and then we're just going to stuff these with coal. And we're going to grab half of that. And then we're going to put the other half in there and cook the rest of our pork chops, which looks like I don't have any for some reason. Okay. Oh, I need to put clay in there. That's what I'm doing. Okay. So now I need to go and cut down this dark oak tree and not lose all the saplings for it. Because if I do, then I'll run out of a uh, run out of a uh, dark oak, and I can't have that happen. So. I'm still a little mad that Audacity did that to me, so I have to re-record this episode. But on the bright side, this just means that I'll have time to actually work on the other um, part of this area here. And thankfully, because of the way I'm handling this, I'll be able to reuse the screenshot that I took that I thought was pretty... No, that was a bad screenshot, never mind. <sighs> okay. So, we're going to need a lot of... There we go, and then so now what we need to do is cut out a bigger hole for all of that. And then we're gonna start here and then build up like this. Oh no, no no no. Go ahead. Like this. Oh, my, come on. And then that. Followed by that. No. Whoops. Okay, let's go check on the leaves. Oh, there's one up there too. Let's get that one. There we go. So now we just need one more. There we go. Oh, look at that. Even more of them. So eventually we might actually be able to double our supply of dark oak wood that we have access to. Which is always a good thing, to have more of something. Unless, of course, it's stalkers. That's kind of something you want a lot less of. 
Or, I mean, okay, I take back what I said because that can be misconstrued as a lot of things that I don't agree with. So, okay, why am I using this when I can use oak wood? So we're gonna go and make some more bookshelves, four of them to be exact. Need six of them. Now we're gonna drop those in there, and then we're just gonna do two swipes like that. And finish it off. There we go. Let's check for more saplings. Here's that there's one right there. And uh, looks like that's all we got. So we got six in total from one tree. Hmm. Oh, never mind. We got seven in total. Maybe one of these will spawn the final sapling. Ah, for shame. That would have been very, very cool if it did. But on the bright side, though, we're pretty much guaranteed to have more oak trees or dark oak trees in the future, unlike last time. So. One more. There we go. And then we just got to do. And then, let's see, spruce wood to fill up that gap. Then we took these two chests and moved them on this side right there. Oh, right, one more thing. And then we did this, and then I did that, and then I took that, and then I did that, and then I grabbed this, and I pulled this out, and then I did this, and then I grabbed those, and then I did this, that, those, and this, and then I dropped this, and then I put, oops, one more upper. Then I dropped that on top of it, not underneath it. And then I put that there with some wings. Then I went back up here and then I did, let's see, we have this, we have that. Oh, I removed all the carpet. Because I came to the conclusion that it was no longer needed. And then I added a stair there, a stair there, and a stair there, a stair there, and a stair there with a cauldron there. And then we did a torch here, and no, we did not. We did torches in other places, such as right, uh, right, somewhere. Um, just put it right there. And we need more bricks. Oh, and also changing the way the way the light structures are going and then we'll do that and then we have one right there and then we pull out some more bricks and then we build some flower pots four to be exact we put down one there and one there one there and one there now we need two buckets of water in total so we're just gonna go and yank one out from right there Fill the sink, yank one out from right there, and then fill this water pot sink right there. And just simply because I have okay, 
That was weird. I don't, I don't know what happened, but looks like I need to grab some more, more water for some reason. Okay, so that was weird. And now I need to go out and get some. Yeah, I basically what took, I, that was terrible English on my part, I'm sorry. I basically just did what took me 30 minutes to do last episode in a grand total of not 30 minutes, like 15 minutes, so. And I also had to argue with some mobs, so. Yeah. Thank me later. Sorry, this episode is a complete disaster. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I, I can't even explain how just happy I am that I just gained 10 subscribers in one day. I mean, previously, the most I'd ever gained in one day was only four. And that was on like a really good day. That's only happened once. And that was back in October after I released episode six, I believe, of the Minecraft series. Since then, it's been about one subscriber every two to three, like, it's been like one subscriber on the off video. And then maybe if I'm lucky, I'll get like the occasional like bump of three and then I'll go silent. Then I'll get like maybe two, then I'll go silent for like a couple days. Then I'll get like maybe one or two, and then I'll go silent. That's how it's been for the good, like, month and a half now. And it's just been like, you know, I upload a video when it doesn't, it gets like a ton of just quick clicks that are closed out and whatever, but no subscribers follow from it. Then all of a sudden, I upload a video like I usually do to Reddit, and it just completely explodes, and I don't know why. So, um, I'm just, I'm just happy. Uh, I didn't, I didn't think I'd hit 70 subscribers until January, to be honest. But here we are. Not only are we at 70, but there's more dark oak up there. Cool, that's good to know. But, um, we're well into 70. We're at 73, which, I mean... Earlier today, I was at 70, I was at 63. So it's just, I mean, I don't, I can't really like explain just how happy I am that people are actually willing to watch my little silly videos that I upload every day. So, yeah. I'm trying to think of something I can like talk about that you guys would enjoy listening to, but you know, it's, it's gotta be like relaxing and entertaining while at the same time, not super intense. Oh, I got one. So in sixth grade at my middle school, I was in band. I was probably the worst person in band because I have absolutely no idea how to play an instrument. Um, I don't have that kind of coordination or power to do that. So there's that. And we had to do some sort of music type class, which was sucky. So this, um, this of course led to me faking every instrument note that I had to play. And, uh, I know for a fact, my band instructor knew what I was doing, that I wasn't actually playing the instrument, but he didn't really care. So, Anyways, all that rift raft aside, uh, we uh, we had the uh, the the end of kind of like band competition where all the bands from all the middle schools got together and uh, played against each other. So we had the reputation of winning every single year because our band teacher was pretty good and always uh, had it in with the judges and knew 
um, like, you know, what songs that would like really be impressive to play. I know one of them was Magma. That's like, oh, the only one I actually remember was just Magma. So I, uh, I played the cornet. It, um, if you don't, for those of you who don't know, a cornet is basically a mini trumpet. And that is what I played. I played the cornet in middle school. And oh boy, was it quite the spectacle. So anyways, uh, basically we got on a bus, drove uh, three hours to uh, um, to another state, basically, and played there. Now, in this state in particular, it is one of the few U.S. states that don't have sales tax. And... The reason why that's so important is because this means that me, being um, a middle schooler with exact change, does not have to worry about sales tax. And we stopped at a McDonald's and a Burger King that were literally in the same parking lot within walking. Like, I'm trying to like explain how just ridiculous this was, but there was the McDonald's and then probably less than 50 meters away was the Burger King. And it's just such an interesting business decision, but you know, it, it, it's there. And um, with no sales tax and not having to worry about anything, $20 can get you a long way at both McDonald's and so at the time, I was an absolute cocaholic. Um, I had a huge, 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 huge coke problem. I don't mean like, uh, um, like cocaine. I mean like you know Coca Cola. So in case that was not quite clear, um, let me just clarify that. So <laughs> sixth grade me having a coke problem. God. That's just way too much. So I um I went to McDonald's and I got a large soda. Now that may not sound like a big deal, but McDonald's has free refills and soda and large sodas are a dollar. So I refilled that probably. Uh, oh boy. Um. At least I, f I I filled it up probably four times. And that might sound ridiculous, but this was 14-year-old gamer me who drank 64 ounces of soda on every Saturday night um, as kind of part of uh, my dad's rule of only having, you know, one soda a week and it could be, you know, one of the big sodas. So that was kind of like the rule. You know, I could have one soda a week and it could be the big soda if I wanted to, but it had to be only once a week. This was different. I had unlimited access to soda. I was away from my father, and it was that. So, sixth grade me basically did a very just diabetes inducing thing of drinking a total of 128 ounces of Coca Cola, um, roughly four liters for those of you who are in the UK or in Belgium. Specifically, Belgium. I see you watching these videos. I see you in the analytics. Thank you. So, <laughs> anyways, um, four liters of Coke, you know, 128 ounces. This is like a very rough calculation. I know that 63 ounces is roughly two liters. So, maybe it's 67. I don't know. Very rough calculation. So, anyways... Sixth grade me was just wired up on caffeine. Like, just, just wired. Um, I think I had nearly 300 milligrams of caffeine in my system then, which for sixth grade me, that was a ridiculous amount. But for college me, 300 milligrams of caffeine is literally Sunday morning. So, and I mean that in all sincerity. 300 milligrams of caffeine is literally Sunday morning for me. So, yeah, uh, I was just off the walls when it came to hyperactivity. I mean, there was no justifying how much uh, 
how much I had consumed that day. I mean, uh, we should have had some sort of supervision. And then I went to go get more because I accidentally threw away my cup. I was like, I'm going to get a fifth. But then I go to the cashier and I say, I want a Coke. And she mishears that as, I want a Coke. So then everyone sees me go from drinking a ton of soda to a to, to an additional, uh, you know, frozen cone. Followed by three cheeseburgers and then chicken, no, not chicken nuggets, um, some sort of chicken product from a from Burger King. I think it was the nuggets. Maybe it was the McDonald's chicken nuggets. I don't know. I remember chicken product. Probably tenders or something. I don't know. I want to say nuggets, but I know for a fact that in sixth grade, the McDonald's nuggets were nowhere even close to being as good as they are now. So, this, um, yeah, this, this was not, not a good, good idea on the administrator's part because they basically just let a whole bunch of kids just go up and wild and, um, I think I had eight Burger King crowns on because I kept conning kids to give me their Burger King crowns. And that was when they were giving them out in Happy Meals. And I had like a bunch of them on, like just a bunch of them. I had like a tower and like, then we got back on the buses and they weren't like, you know, school buses, they were charter buses. Like, you know, they had like movies and going and that was actually the time that I saw Tangled for the first time was on that charter bus. And I remember basically going to the bathroom every 15 minutes because the caffeine had crippled my bladder. So that was great. So, um, and then because we were in sixth grade at the time, we, uh, we all sung Ultimate Showdown, which if you don't remember, that's the, uh, the song about Godzilla, um, stomping around Tokyo city, like a big playground when suddenly Batman bursts from the shades and hits Godzilla with a back grenade. And, uh, <laughs> and then that's when Shaq came around and opened up a can of Shaq Fu and Eric Cotter came out of the blue and started beating up Shaquille O'Neal and they both got whapped by the Batmobile and before he could make it back to the Batcave Abraham Lincoln came out of his grave and he pulled a link AQ-47 out from under his hat and he blew Batman away with a rat a tat tat uh, gosh yeah, we, uh, that was basically the lyrics for it, plus a bunch more about Godzilla taking a bite out of Optimus Prime and, um, Mr. Rogers winning with a bloodstained sweater, um, Chuck Norris descending from the heavens, and, um, yeah. It was quite the adventure. So we have our decorations done for our both houses here. And I think next episode, we're going to be constructing the quarry, which will be going here, as marked out by the torches. And over here will be the forge. Up here will probably be the first livestock farm. And I'm also going to hopefully make it to the nether by episode, before episode 40. So... And I also wanted to apologize. I know I said I have the new intro done by now, but um, alongside working with the other projects and also just trying to relax, I haven't really had time to, you know, finish it. So, although this will be uploaded Tuesday when it's currently Sunday. So... Who knows, maybe I'll have it done in time, maybe it'll be episode 31, I don't know. But it will be done soon. I'm having a lot of fun playing with the new effects and just sort of seeing what I can do with um, my limited talent in Adobe Flash. But in the meantime, we'll do it right there. <sighs> um, well, I actually already have that screenshot done, so I'm gonna be using the screenshot from the previous upload, but whatever just wanted to kind of put that out there but yeah anyways um next episode i might be either working on the quarry or going mining we'll find we'll see um until then i just wanted to say thank you for watching and if you're one of the new subscribers that came in on sunday 
Thank you very much for uh, giving my content a chance and following through with a subscription. Um, that, uh, that really means a lot to me. Um, <laughs> anyways, thank you for watching, all of you, and have a fantastic night.